This video is rated E for everyone. Alright, let's look around and see okay. what we can find. So I take it, uh, Captain Quark, uh, Captain Quark is the MacGuffin of this game. And, uh... Well, MacGuffin? MacGuffin? Mac Mac MacGuffin? There's an N there. N, okay. MacGuffin. Uh, so we're trying to find him, because he's supposed to be the one to stop the bad he's guys. He's supposed to be some sort of all-powerful superhero. So I don't get the feeling he's not. Uh, I feel like we're, this is gonna be one of those, uh, cases in which, uh, we're the ones who end up doing everything. No, really? Yeah. We could hop on the courier ship, but... Oh, that? wait, we probably have enough to, uh... Yeah, we do. Oh, sure, might as well buy it. <laughs> and you can get ammo once... Ooh. Why not? <laughs> I can afford it. Okay. We're maxed out. Alright. Cool. Alright, how do you switch between, uh... Gadgets here. Oh, I hold I held down triangle and that happened. All right, so I think you can assign those to circle I'm just gonna hold on to this for now. Okay. It's a flamethrower, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah circle pulls out the gadget. It's okay. currently equipped uh -huh. Then I think you just press like, circle again to use it. I, think, I take it. Oh, oh. Water slide. Yep. So it won't kill me, but it will it's certainly set me it's back. It's an early level, so... Yeah. Better get good while it's still forgiving. Yep. Oh! Nope. Nope. Oh. Boxes. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. That enemy actually flew back through the box. Alright, uh... So I think we found like the uh, the ship that we need, so that's probably checked off the list. Yep. So I guess we're just sort of exploring now. Yeah, we're exploring the waterworks because that was on the list too. Uh, that's probably one of those missions that's not required to progress, but I think it's will it, be important. It would, it later. would probably be beneficial. Yeah, and it might even be important for something later on. I'm not sure. Oh, did that even hurt you? No, it just shoved me back. Okay. All right. What is the function of these things? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, hope that wasn't important. Oh. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, there's some steps there. Okay. All right. I love how they have all these boxes lying around with nuts and bolts in them. Just for no reason. They're uh, just there. I can't decide. Are these just supposed to be random parts or are they currency? But we use them to Why buy... Why not both? So you use them to buy things and, and like, you also use them to, uh... I think... Isn't there an upgrade system? I think there probably would be. Okay, how does it... Okay, yeah. It's basic flamethrower, so... Uh, I seem to recall that that's very useful on, like, grunts. Like, thing, like smaller enemies that try to swarm you. Seems like it would be anyway. Oh. My platform foo has grown weak. <laughs> okay. I think if we could do Ape Escape, we could do this game. Yeah. Ape Escape was a nightmare when it came to that stuff. Uh. <laughs> Precision controls and no easy camera like this. Yeah. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I say as I fall off, invalidating my progress. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yes, the joy of platformers. Losing all your progress to a simple mistake. Uh, I miss platformers though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see my face right now. <laughs> but I'm mad. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rem isn't here today. You probably can yeah. figure that out. Yeah, Rem's not here, and that's why we're playing this instead of Mega Man. Uh, 
Oh no, I gave away that we're, we were recording Mega Man, even though I've most likely released the first episode of the Mega Man LP before the first one of this ever came out. Yeah. So no problem then. Um, I would adjust the camera as you move. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you know what this game reminds me of right now? What? You remember Robots? Robots? You, that the, movie? The movie that and the game that came uh, that uh, was released with it. I never played that, the game. The game I rented it once and it was actually really good. It was. That it was, was a game uh, I thought about getting when I was younger, but never uh, did. <laughs> yeah, like you know what they say about movie licensed games? That they're not very good. Yeah, but Robots kind of broke that trend. Oh. I remember the last episode or the last chapter. I don't remember. It was like the last level or something, and it was super difficult. Is that a game we should play on this channel? Probably. Huh. Because I am not familiar with it. Like, I, I barely remember anything because I was like seven or something? I don't know. Dad blasted! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't well, you be you on think just because I'm a plumber I got a crack or something? Transports. Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. Oh. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. The, uh, the one percent. Well, got anything more? So the bolts are a currency. I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Uh, oh, we can buy it. Well, we had enough bolts. Geronimo! <laughs> did he just slide down a sewer pipe? I guess he did. <laughs> mayday, mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from uh. the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! I think, uh, the voice actors in, the, in, this, in, this, in this game, like, uh, have they been in other stuff? When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Well, they're dead. Or, unless they ejected. You see that guy on the left? That was Skid yeah. McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Huh. Alright, so we can go to Aridia. Oh, that's lazy. I just got it. Shut up. <laughs> Arid. It's a desert planet. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Eh, to be fair, a lot of sci fi does stuff like that. Uh, that actually doesn't sound like a bad name, Aridia. Alright. I think So, uh, which mission should we do? Continue the story or go save the skateboarder? Uh, check your to-do list. Um, Other button. Yeah. There's the and missions. Yeah, we got... All, all missions are done here. We finished up here. Why don't we get back to our ship? Yeah, I'm just wondering what stage should we go to next? Um, well, let's take a look. We... Oh, cool. Alright. Is there anything uh, new in the Gadgetron? Nope, just ammo. Uh, he ships right behind you, I think. Yep. Okay. Wait, is there anything over here? Might as well check. There is money over here. Oh, yeah. Money slash, uh... It never hurt to go check. Okay, you can hold square to dive. Okay. But well, keep an eye on that... One of the bubbles in that meter over there. Yep. So they're... Air, which makes sense. Yep. That was pretty much requisite for a game like this. Oh man, you know what I just thought of? What? Uh, there's a game, I remember seeing it like. This is going to make me real old, but who here remembers Comp USA? Comp USA? I'm not even sure if I remember that one. But yeah, it's a. It, it was this old com uh, computer. Uh, like, it was this old, like. Oh man, how do I even describe Comp USA? Can you go through that door there? Well, let's go find out. But you know, okay, Comp USA was like a computer parts 
accessories, all that. It was a computer store. Oh, cool. Like, you bought computers there, you bought printers. But they also oh, had a yeah. game section where you get all the newest games. Like an and there was this game on display a long time ago called Vex. And I'm think and I've been thinking like, should we see if we can find Vex and play that? Because th that falls into the ballpark of like early aughts trying to keep the platformer zeitgeist going, you know? Yeah, I remember. Well, actually, early aughts were the platformer zeitgeist, weren't they? Yeah, I'm not sure. I remember kind of like, uh, was it? That was when it was most popular, wasn't it? Plat 3D platformers like this. Think. Yeah. I'm trying to remember that computer place. Like, there was one uh, up where Cinnabar is now. I think I might actually know what you're talking, the one you're talking about. I didn't remember it was called that, though. Yeah. I actually had to go, like, digging in. I had to think about it for a minute. Yeah, it was. It has been a while. That place closed down, like, I, I'm, I'm, I think over a decade ago. I think so. I remember being sad when it did, because I, I think I remember really enjoying it. All right. All right, so... It's really hard to see, but I, I can manage. Whoa. Who lit Whoa. this... Where are we? <laughs> I'm going to re I'm going to repeat. Who lit this level? I don't know if, like, if it's just our TV's brightness or... Oh. Like, I'm looking at the recording. It's not looking much better. Yeah. And usually the recording is a bit brighter. So this is probably the way it was intended. Mm-hmm. Wow, there is a lot to explore in this game. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, like... This is the kind of game I wish I played when I was a kid. So then you could be frustrated by how uh, far the franchise has fallen? Oh, possibly. <laughs> it's okay, I have that with other games. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, it's okay, I'll be waiting in vain for a good Paper Mario game. <laughs> yeah, I I'm waiting for Spyro to get out of Purgatory. Skylanders Purgatory, that is, so... Like, Skylanders <laughs> is probably the worst... Uh, uh, Skylanders and, uh... Skylanders and the Rabbids are in the same ballpark. Mm. <laughs> you remember the Rabbids? I remember the Rabbids. Also known as those things that killed Rayman for a while. It's, they were part of the Rayman series. They right? were the villains of a Rayman game, and then they got so popular because of... They were created in that era where everything was that was good was random and silly. Uh-huh. So they did not last long. Yeah. All right, so we finished I that. I actually forgot that Rabbids was part of the Rayman series. And it took, <laughs> and, uh, it took years until Rayman got another game. All right, well, I guess I'll take on the next level. All right, your call. Uh, let's see. So Where, we can okay, go to... We can uh, go to Kirwan. Or, no, Metropolis. Metropolis, which is a place in Kirwan. Or, or Outpost or... X-11. Um... Which, uh, like... I guess I might go to Metropolis since that's just... Well, that one. seems like progression. Progression versus... This side objective thing. Um... I, I don't know. They might both be important. Well, do you want to leave the guy to die or go to the place where the guy's shooting a commercial? Locate Skid McMarks and find Skid's agent. Okay. Gold bolts. Okay. So I guess we could try to find those. Maybe we could get uh, one of the secret things or something. I don't know. Ah, let's try it out. Given how obsessively... We oh, good. It's auto-saving. Oh, good. So we don't have to worry about that. Yep. <laughs> cool. Want to bet that this thing's going to get ruined when we land? I hope not. Then we'd have to repair it, wouldn't we? No, okay. Oh, fine. good. We learned how to <laughs> land. Alright. I think that's just a cutscene that plays every time you, uh... Yeah. Okay, we already figured that out, oh, though. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, tap, uh, tap triangle to get him to shut up. 
I didn't want to tap triangle because I thought that would just bring up this. <laughs> Alright, so right now I think you've got the pyro thing equipped. Uh, the yes. pyrocitor, I think? Yeah. Yep. So. Boy, this is a dark place. Alright, uh, no, don't need any ammo for there. Alright. Uh, I don't oh, think. Oh, wait, we're... could we get a new gadget from the store? Maybe. Let's see. Let's see how. Oh. I, I just hit it upon it. Nope, we cannot get a new gadget. Okay. Alright. I don't that know. That looks if, uh... like oil. Yeah, I don't want to step in that, I'm sure. Oh. Uh oh. See, these things can be. Uh, see. Oh boy. Oh, you know another game we should probably do? We should definitely do. What? Sly Cooper. We gotta do, we gotta do that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we haven't done it already. <laughs> oh well. I remember the last boss of the first game was a nightmare to fight. Uh huh. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, we it's don't want to it, step so in that. So oil's a quicksand thing. Yeah. Oh. Don't right. forget, you can chuck bombs at them. Yeah, this game is reminding me of so many other games. Yeah. It's just, it's just kind of the era, I guess. It's It definitely feels like the other games from its era. Uh -huh. Everyone wanted to grab, like, that same fire that Spyro grabbed. Yeah. Or uh, that Crash Bandicoot grabbed. Uh -huh. Is there really a new Crash Bandicoot game? I don't know. I, I heard something about, I, like... I heard something about Crash Bandicoot at E3 this year. I'll admit, I did not watch E3. I didn't either. I didn't watch any of the streams. I didn't. I just heard something about Crash Bandicoot. Oh, that's a that's a that's, that's an explosive. explosive. Okay. Uh, we all know that. You know, just in case, we might want to make sure we have as much money as possible. Oh yeah, I will collect all the money. All right. I wonder what made them decide that bolts would be their currency. I don't know. Probably, uh, well, given that, um, Ratchet was rebuilding, no, well, not rebuilding, but building a ship at the beginning. Maybe they were going for a scavenger feel to it? I suppose. I'm not sure which way to go, so I'm just going to explore until I find something. Oh, that's a conveyor belt. Boy, the sound effects. Very satisfying, yeah. actually. Let's see. Let me hit. Oh, careful. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm just i hearing a lot of Spyro sound effects. It's making me feel good. <laughs> Spyro should be on the list. It should be. You're we'll playing that one because I tried to play it. Oh. I tried to play it once, and it does not control good. Well, I've still got the uh, my old uh, muscle memory with that game, so I can control it very well. Yeah, so if we do a playthrough of the original Spyro, Devin will be behind the wheel of that. Yeah, and I'm trying to debate whether I should complete the game or just try and... Because I know where everything is in that game. Show off. No, really, I've played it so many times. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like one of those things. Um, what is this telling I, me? I think you can... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's trying to explain something we probably found out a while ago. Yeah, that you can just grab ledges. Ledge grabbing. A hallmark of this genre. Oh, I saw... Yeah, I saw you in there. <laughs> well... Now that we're naming all these games, we're eventually going to have to come to... Uh, we're going to have to play them at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so, might as well uh, name a bunch. Yeah, let's just name all these games so that we'll You're have probably, to play them later. <laughs> you'll probably see the uh, few games... Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yeah, I figured you could touch them and then they'd... Uh, uh. Yeah, but, um, what else? Kingdom Hearts. I have never beaten Kingdom Hearts. Have you? Yeah. Okay, good. Like, as long as one of us has beaten it. Um, Kingdom Hearts is one of those games that took me forever to get into because I'm like, oh, that looks good, but I don't have a PlayStation 2. I have a GameCube. So that uh, that doomed me on it. And then I was like, it, oh, 
no signal whatsoever. Oh, there's the agent. Is this the guy? Is no. Me. Oh, it's the agent. agent man. Medical attention, sir. Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. So they did agent. survive. Yeah. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. A blood-sucking um, parasite. I, yeah. <laughs> Don't know that's the most flattering analogy. I'll make you my next stop. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMark. Come on, Ratchet. <laughs>